I'm Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. I wanted to take a minute and show you guys what I recommend with our wind turbines to protect the over voltage when we're using our wind turbines in conjunction with the Midnight Classic. Um, this is the Midnight Clipper. Now, the reason we're taking a few minutes today to go over this is I am aware that there's some other DIY devices on the market which is not to say that in some situations they may work for some people some of the time, but to get your money out of your wind turbine long-term investment and not to tear up your charge controller, we recommend this clipper device from Midnight. And there's, there's a number of reasons and we'll go over these shortly. I just wanna start off by showing you a couple of features on this um, control board. Midnight has already done videos, um, which I'll drop links to in the description, and shows you what's going on with their clipper and how it functions. Uh, today, I just want to show you a couple of things. You know, your brake switch for your wind turbine. You can see up here where this grounds all three phases of your wind turbine. So when you lift this up, you know, there's your stop switch. Really impressed with the heavy duty wiring and um, you know the the terminal lugs and things that are in and for that matter the, the craftsmanship of the part. Um, we got the dual parallel input on the three phase here coming down to your other three phase uh, AC breaker and um, you got some nice heavy resistors. This unit has got thermal protection. You got a fan, big heavy fan down here that's going to pull your air out when you mount this thing vertically. Large ports for your heat to come out of. Um, big heavy relay up here. But um, when it comes to protecting your midnight solar charge controller. The reason that I really, I can't say enough about this board, I'm aware that there are ways to use a three-phase relay by itself and as well write this controller to where it will help slow your wind turbine down. Where we really defer to their expertise and promote this board, you know, as long as of your auxiliary to your midnight still functioning and it's you know pulsing and and you know you've got your diversion load and you've got your um you've got your over voltage programmed into it even if you set it up with a three-phase relay here is the third layer of protection in this board it's got what's known as a trim pot in it and you can see there where you set that to you know, if your Midnight Classic, if the breaker, if the breaker flips, if there was an arc fault, if any reason this thing powers down, this board right here, it's three layers of protection. You know, this third layer right here, the board by itself will go ahead and tell this thing to send, you know, it, it, your predetermined voltage to send the excess current into these diversion load resistors. And you save this controller. This is a $650 part. These um, over voltage boxes, they, like I said, they've got a video up and you know showed where a turbine that made 400, 500 volts DC, it lasted over time to get your money out of your investment with your wind turbine. You know, after you've spent that much to erect a tower, put up the wind turbine, buy the nice controller, um, that will exponentially yield how much power you make over time. You want to protect that investment and use a device. You know, again, third layer protection. I'm, I'm just reinforcing this because I see on YouTube a lot of the times guys are just using the um, the three phase relay of the auxiliary two. And as long as the classic stays powered up. You may be okay for a period of time, but sooner or later, things happen. 
you know, there's ground faults, um, different reasons, breakers may trip. If you own a house, you know, sometimes breakers just trip. And if that happens, our high voltage wind turbine will put out 300 to 400 BDC in a good wind. So in that instance, you're going to, you're going to want that third layer of protection. And, um, you know, this thing came nicely boxed. Uh, if we will just take a look, you know, over here, it's a made in the United States, made in the USA product. And, um, yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I've seen some of these homemade clippers that, you know, have um, radiator clamps around the resistors holding some type of thermal protection. I was just really impressed with the craftsmanship and everything that has gone into um, putting, putting this unit together. As always, the guys over Midnight Solar did a great job. So um, that's my recommendation. If you want to keep your wind turbine and your Midnight Classic running for, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, that's, that's what it's going to take, in my opinion. You know, just wanted to give you guys an inside look of one of these Midnight Clippers. Look for us at HurricaneWindPower.com. Uh, for now, Tony at Hurricane Wind Power signing off. Thank you. Bye.